Hey everybody and welcome to another Django tutorial and today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to customize Sublime Text 3 for how you like it. So what, what we're gonna do is we can we can customize the font face, we can customize the color scheme, the theme, everything really. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and yeah, let's get right into it actually. So I'm gonna open up Sublime Text 3 and you see it's a new file so then you can go to Sublime text here on top top left and then go to preferences and then settings and then this new folder is going to open and then you're going to have the the default settings you can't change so if i try to type something it's not going to type it out and then here you have these things you can change so how you would like it so basically you would you like autocomplete like false basically you when you open this it's not going to be the same as mine because I already changed it, so I put autocomplete false. The color scheme, I put it monokai. I didn't really change it very much because I like it dark like that. Uh, font face, I put in consolata. I heard it's a very good font for programming. So here, if you want to change it, you could just put like Arial Black. I think that's how it's called. I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go, Arial Black. Now it just changed. You just save it control with Command S, and it saves it, and it saves it. So you can go Calibri. Cancel. This is how it looks like. I don't think. I think Inconsolata is a little better. Inconsolata. And then look at it change. Command S. Yeah. So now here we have. It doesn't. It, it ignores the package vintage. Called vintage. And then you have Sublime Linter. Apparently, people told me to, to put it false. Um. I don't know why, but I just put it false. And then you have tab size equal four. Everybody knows that it's Python um, pip eight, so it's better to have type tab size to four. Then you have the color scheme. I put it adaptive, and the word wrap. I'm not sure what's that. Oh, I think that's that's what it is. Like if I double click, it rip, that's what it does. I'm not sure. Let me let me try actually. Let me try if I, what happens if I move it false? Okay. No, it's not that then. I have to put it back to true. I don't even know. What does that do? I don't know. Anyways. So now let's say you want to change the color, the color scheme. You just do uh, shift command P. And then type in package control. Package control install package. Click on that. And then now you can change whatever you want in here. So, hmm, what do I want? I want, I don't know, material, I think. Material should be good. So, material, I want a material color scheme. Here it is. It's doing it. And then you have this thing here. And it tells you how to activate. Activate the color scheme by bottom finding your user preference file, which you can find using the item menu, which is here. And then material dark. Then you change it to material light. Ah, here it is. You can take this. Put it in here. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna take that without the brackets. Put it into the color scheme. Take that too. Control S. Whoa! Whoa! That's cool. I think that worked. Um. So if I go Control Z, Monokai, Control S, and it's back. So. Just make sure. So now let's let's install something else. So if we go shift command P package no actually uh here we shift command P package okay I think I have to go to a new one option new window okay there you go shift command P package control install package why is that there Okay, uh, now let's install something else. One three three seven color scheme. Thank you for installing one three three seven color scheme. Whatever. So select um, preferences color scheme, and then so select preferences color scheme. And now we have to choose one three three seven. Ooh, so it just changed to that. Pretty cool actually. It's not. It's not bad. Really not bad, but. I don't like it, the colors of the word, of the words. So it's like 
yellow, um, orange. I don't like that too very much. So I'm gonna change it back to what I have, which is adaptive sublime themes. So I had, what did I have before? Did I just change? Um, yeah. So I ch I changed the color scheme. So let me change it back. Preferences, color scheme. Then how did it? How did I name it before? It was Monokai. Default. There we go. It's back. Uh, has changed on this. Do you want to reload? Yeah, reload it. There we go. And now let's say you want to change the theme. Just sh shift command P. And then package control. Install package. And now, hmm. Let's say material theme. Theme, 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 theme. Here it is. Loading. And look, it changed it for you. If you go close that one. Oopsies, I closed the other one, so I have to go back. Preferences, settings. Here it is. And now it changed it for... Oh, I didn't save it. Let's go here. New window. Shift, Command, P. Package control. Why is it not finding it? I'm not sure. Come on, open a new window. Shift command P. Pack it. Okay. Um, so yeah, now you know how to d change the color scheme and everything. And what should we do next? Also, I have a site if you want to, to really change it in, in depth. Uh, let me open it here. This is the site. The, the link is going to be in the description. It's setting up Sublime Text 3 for full stack Python development by Real Python, and it has a bunch of things. So basically, you have you can customize it, whatever. And here is package control, like before, like I showed you. You have autocomplete here, and then you have the themes. You can change the themes, and then here it, it lets you install a bunch of things. So sidebar enhancements, like I have it already, so I I installed it already. Here it is. So the sidebar enhancements, like when you have a folder in the sidebar. You can double click on it and you have a bunch of these options here. You can delete, refresh, anything. So this is really handy. I really recommend to you to install it. So you should go check the site in the description. So you have sidebar enhancements, you have Anaconda, which I also have. You have Janeiro, which I also have. Uh, so Janeiro, it does this. Let me show you if I go here. Then I go back to Python. Um, Django, Django, Django. go up. Janeiro, here it is. You have Janeiro and then you have HTML, Django, Python, Django, CSS, which like changes the color of everything and makes it really cool. So then you, this is how you do it. They show you everything step by step. Um, I don't know what's that. Keyboard shortcuts, that's pretty good. Like it, you can do your own shortcuts. And that's pretty much it. So link of the site is going to be in the description. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.